Secretary General Khu Jafar Khushari. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's get straight into it. When Nezmuddin Erbakan envisioned the D8 20 years ago, he saw it as a platform for social equity, economic development, not just for Muslims, but for the population of the world. 20 years on, how close are we to those goals? We are certainly you know, indebted to the late uh, Pres uh, Prime Minister uh, Erbakan, who initiated this uh, uh, D8 uh, grouping uh, of Muslim countries. Uh, 1997 was the year of uh, financial crisis. Uh, but when you look at the success story of some member countries in particular, uh, if you look at eight member countries, uh, for example, Turkey and Malaysia, that has graduated into almost coming to a higher income country. And soon, I believe, uh, you know, both would qualify to become a developed countries. You look at country like Bangladesh, it used to be a least developed country, you know, before in that category. But now Bangladesh has uh, become a, a lower middle income uh, country. So that, I think, is quite an achievement. Uh, D8, uh, when it was formed in 1997, the idea was to look at a project a initiative, both a government project as well as private sector. In trade, for example, we set the target for 20 years, then we should uh, be able to reach like intra-trade uh, among the end of US $500 billion. Now intra-trade has uh, reaching like $100, $150 billion. I think that's quite a, a success story. In the case of the D8, particularly some countries, they've had very strained relations in the past. It's almost as if the government needs to get right. out of the way of the yes, private yes, sector. Yes. Is that something that you see the D8 being able to accomplish, putting the economy and the mutual economic interests before politics? Well, uh, I'm, I'm not saying politics is not important. I think... Uh, uh, it is always a political will that establishes the economic uh, will then. But at the same time, you know, in the context of D8, we need to work hard to develop the uh, economic cooperation for the need of the people, for the, the uh, sustainable economic development, for raising the standard of the, of, of the citizen in the member countries. And this is uh, a call from me as a new secretary general uh, to all member countries to focus on this, you know, to give priority at least to the aid. I think uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying that uh, uh, member countries are not committed, but uh, priority perhaps is not there. Now, when we talk about the member states, they have some of the youngest populations in the entire world. Yes. You're embarking on the third 10-year plan. By the time it's over, an entire generation will have grown up. What do you see the D8 contributing to that generation? My plan is that I will start connecting to all these uh, uh, institutions not only the Institute of Higher Learning Institution, we are looking at university in particular. Uh, we are looking at universities that can provide the training, a special training program for the youth uh, from member countries. I've been talking to uh, a number of institutions and I'm happy to say that I think they are more than willing to start this kind of a program. So let's break down what's, what's on the cards for the private sector. Let's talk about business visas. Let's talk about the movement of money. Yes. Let's talk about the, the movement of expat workers mm. and, and you know, uh, <clears throat> watching out for their rights. What's being done for that? During the Nine Summit, uh, uh, Honorable President speak a lot about the uh, new image of the aid, about introducing new initiative. And he was talking about having that, what you, you say, uh, payment support uh, arrangement. We are right now working uh, with one company to look at uh, a payment, they call it a, a, a D8 payment system, that we want to introduce something like a smart card for D8 member countries, so that that can provide facility for business transaction uh, in all uh, area. So the system built will consider uh, putting element into uh, facilitate, facilitating the need for all the uh, workers uh, in the member countries to repatriate money, for example. So we are, we are looking into all these possibilities now uh, and uh, we hope that uh, member countries can support this kind of, of, of program. 